Hello again, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and I have here another Mercedes Vito to look at. Okay, it's got an engine management light on and I do know it's DPF related because he's tried to have someone do it and uh, obviously it, well, it couldn't be done so he's here having me to look at it. So I'm going to use this diagnostic machine today. My launch is flat. Uh, so we are going to look for Mercedes Benz. Sorry, just trying to get it where you, where we've not got as much glare. So we're just ready to do an auto scan. Gonna let that run through. This might take a while, so we'll pause the video. Okay, we have a few different faults here. Let's have a look. Just trying to get it down there so we can actually see the screen. It's not good with sun glare, it's a bit slow as well. Come on. Okay, we have these fault codes here, P246B09, P246392, component fault, diesel particulate filter, re regeneration not fulfilled. So that would say to me, uh, it's tried to regen and the DPF is just um, damaged, so it's not regening, or he hasn't uh, been driving it in the correct conditions to make it regen, so... Uh, we're going to try and have us some look somewhere else in live data. Actually, we'll go back from there first and just confirm what any of the other faults are. See if we have anything here that's going to prevent it from doing a region. Nothing that I can see, just the ESP faults. Okay, so not really relevant. So we're just looking in the live data. We're going to look at the particulate filter. Engine running, yes. Suck so content is 62 grams. Differential pressure is 30. You can see there should be less than 12. I'd say it should be around about 6 really. To be have a good DPF, we should have six pressure. Uh, exhaust back pressure, which is the upstream pressure sensor. Let's give that a rev. Get that on a chart. Let it idle down again. It's not really moving. Well, it is, but very slowly. So we're just going to have a look in the engine bay. I've disconnected this airbox. So we're just going to try and get that out now. Still got something else connected over here. Get that off. Now I don't know if you recognise that engine. It's the Renault traffic engine. So a lot of people would say, oh I sold my Renault and uh, got a German car instead. It's a lot better. Yep, yeah, it's still a Renault. So, we're going to have the usual issues probably over here, which is upstream pressure sensor blocked and uh, clean the DPF. As far as I can see on this, there is no faults that is inhibiting the DPF from regening. It looks like it's been trying to, but he hasn't driven it right or it's, it's the DPF is just beyond uh, regen really. So, um, yeah. So actually over here we have history of the regeneration. We're going to have a quick look at that, see if it will give us any idea of what's been happening with the DPF. Distance travelled between regenerations, 75 kilometers, which is not good. Uh, soot start of the regen was 20 grams, burnt off soot during the regen 90%. Uh, and then it's done one six kilometers. All very short distances. Oh yeah, but here we can see the engine was switched off. The engine was switched off, and once we've had a complete um, regen over here, so it's actually telling us a lot. The combustion engine was switched off, so he's been switching the engine off before it's finishing its regen. Looking at the mileages, yeah, obviously, of course, it's going to try and do one 
in short mileage distances because the engine is repetitively switched off so it's not finished in a region but it did do one here which was complete uh, and it went down to 20 grams which should have went a bit less than that you'd expect to see it sort of come down around sort of six um, can't say for sure if the DPF is is in good good health from that really um, but we'll, we'll try and clean it down so you can see the DPF itself the exhaust tip is clean now if we're looking under the engine on this again it's, it's got the usual issue where you're gonna have performance issues high miles per gallon uh, your boost pressure just not working correctly this sensor like I saw on the Reynolds connected down here we've removed it from there and we've got a pressure gauge connected to it you can see it's just building up pressure that should not hold pressure so we need to get that unblocked okay we've got the cleaning fluid from Launch UK I've got some in this spray bottle what I've done is I've filled the tube here connected it to this bit I'm gonna let that soak for five minutes and I'm gonna put some pressure on it just to try and get it to actually go down there that's gonna soften up the soot for me once it's softened up a little bit we can then get uh, our cable down there on the drill some uh, guitar wire drill drill through the uh, the blockage of the soot then we can clean the DPF and we should be good to go okay so using a lot of fluid and a lot of pers perseverance it's probably the worst one I've ever done to be honest the hardest one we finally managed to get the cable through I felt it felt it go all the way through there now I haven't actually te pressure tested it yet but we're gonna do it now okay so there we are connected and we have no pressure okay so I've disconnected this sensor on the exhaust and we've connected up the DPF cleaning fluid that's in the gun here I'm gonna have the engine running for this and pull the trigger and get that in there Okay, now everything is fitted back together. Okay, we're gonna hold the revs 3000 RPM. And we're gonna keep an eye on that pressure. We should see that come down, I'd say, somewhere between 30 to 60 millibars. If we're gonna have a good DPF. This is the differential pressure of the particulate filter. You can see there, it's coming down. up see it's coming down slowly 77 so far seventy six we are currently idling at seventeen so what I'm gonna do now is clear the fault codes and reset the DPF values so we can take the vehicle on a test drive okay now we've done the teaching process for the particulate filter now we should be able to clear this code here. There we go. So I'm just taking a round of lock a little bit there. Pressure has come down to 54, 52. We're just holding the revs again a little bit. See it's dropping down a bit more now. Okay, so we've done another little trip around the block. Uh, we are down to six millibars pressure, eight point four grams. Let's just hold the revs up again. See if we're getting any more movement on the grams of soot. Are they going up or down? So we'll just hold the revs back up again. See there, we've got a really good pressure now. 
the grams of soot are dropping. And let that idle again. You can see now everything is in the green. We've even come down to four millibars now. Again, we'll just confirm that no fault codes have returned. So that's it, Mercedes Vito there, all finished, and I'll see you on the next video.